I never ended up getting to the point where I properly fit the items I got. I think these ones actually fit better than they did before I was pregnant. Well, hey friends and welcome. Today, I want to spend some time working on something that is so long overdue. I want to declutter and organize my entire wardrobe. Between pregnancy, postpartum, as well as I just never switched over to my summer clothing from my winter clothes, my wardrobe is in a state right now. It is bursting at the seams and half of the clothing in there doesn't even fit me. But we're gonna change that. So let's head into the closet now. I'll show you what we're working with as well as my plan of attack. So here's what my wardrobe currently looks like. As you can see, it is something of a mess. There's a lot of clothing that isn't on hangers and is also out of drawers. But there's also just a lot here that doesn't fit me right now. So I want to take care of that. And then in addition, I also want to get out all of my summer clothes because it is officially warm weather season here in North Carolina. So what I want to do is just start with getting everything out so we can really see what we're working with. And from there, I want to decide what I want to declutter, what we're going to put away for the season, as well as what I want to store for potential future pregnancies because there are a lot of kind of larger items that I've invested in that I could definitely see myself using down the road, but that just don't fit me right now. And then there might be some items as well that I don't fit yet but then I'm going to hopefully eventually um, and so I do want to save those while not putting them in the rotation with the rest of my clothing so start with getting everything out and then we can take it from there so this feels a bit overwhelming but behind me is all of the clothing that I currently own and it's essentially three wardrobes worth of outfits because you have my pre-pregnancy clothes everything that I wore during pregnancy as well as my postpartum wardrobe and so there is a lot here and I want to just start going through it I think the easiest way to approach this is let's begin with just removing anything that doesn't currently fit me whether it's because it's something that I own pre-pregnancy that I don't fit back into yet or something that I wore during my pregnancy that's now too large for me. We'll remove those items, figure out what we want to keep, save for later, uh, when I might fit back into those items again, uh, as well as identify what I want to let go of, that whether it's because I've just moved on to a new stage in life or that I didn't love those items during pregnancy that I just don't see myself wearing for again. I feel like now the perfect time to let go of those items. So let's start there, then we can move on to organizing and going through what does currently fit me. Right now we've got about an hour left before Oliver is going to wake up from his nap so let's see how much we can get done. <music> So here's what things are looking like right now in this pile here I've just got all of my pregnancy clothes that no longer fit me so we'll go through that in a second right here I've got all my pre-pregnancy clothing this mostly just needs to be tried on want to see what fits me now that I can add to this pile here and then see if there's anything that we want to declutter or set aside for later and then I forgot to mention it but I also wanted to pull out all of my winter clothing and so I'm going to 
to swap over my clothing. I want to get out all of my summer clothing, put away some of my fall and winter clothes. So I want to go through that pile, but then also we'll be putting away a lot of that for next season. There's also some dresses and skirts over there that I want to try on. And then right here, on the bed, we have everything that fits me currently. It's not a lot, but these are kind of the items that I've been living in postpartum, so I know they fit me right now. So now let's just go through each of these piles one by one. We'll try on what we need to, then make the decisions around what we want to keep, let go of, as well as just store away for later. Oh, and if you do hear Oliver in the background at all, he woke up a little bit early from his nap, so I took a second to feed him, but now he's just chilling in his bouncer, so if you hear any noises, it's probably him. Okay, but now let's start off with going through all of our pregnancy items. with some of the pregnancy items that I thrifted, I ended up just buying things that were a bit too oversized. So I never ended up getting to the point where I properly fit the items I got. So learn my lesson for next time. I really only need to go up one or two sizes for my regular size. I went three or four in some cases and it was definitely too much. Did find some absolute gems though. I'm already excited to be pregnant again to wear this sweater. So here's where we ended up for the pregnancy clothing. Over here, I've got the pile of things that I want to keep for any potential future pregnancies. And right here is everything that I'm going to be decluttering and donating. But now let's tackle my pre-pregnancy clothing. And for this category, we have a lot of trying on to do. It's a little tight, it's not bad. Huh, they actually look pretty good. Oh, well, I think that's a no still. Feeling good about these ones. Oh, it's perfect. I think these ones actually fit better than they did before I was pregnant. They're still a tiny bit tight, but honestly, all oh, these jeans are closer than I expected. Now let's try short. Oh, nice. So I just went through and tried on literally every single item of pre-pregnancy clothing that I have, which took a little bit, but I have to say I'm fairly impressed with how much actually does fit. Most of my jeans, a few pairs of shorts, most of my t-shirts, that all fits. The stuff that doesn't fit, it's mostly my athletic wear and just a handful of random kind of tighter fitting items. Uh, but even that stuff, we're closer than I expected to be at this point to having everything fit again, which is so exciting. You just never know how that's going to go. So right now I'm just going to fold everything. I'm going to separate what fits me, what doesn't. And then after that, I want to to go through and figure out if there's anything that I want to declutter from this pile. As I was trying everything on, there were definitely a few items that stood out as things that I just don't see myself wearing a ton going forward as I kind of enter my mom era. There's certain things that, yeah, as a mom, I just, I just don't know if I'm ever going to wear. So here's what we've got for pre-pregnancy clothing. Right here is the pile of things that fit me currently that I can just add to my wardrobe. And we've got two piles here of things that don't quite fit me yet, but hopefully in the next month or two will fit. So we'll just introduce those to my wardrobe as those items begin to fit me. And then this third pile here is things that I just don't see myself wearing going forward. A lot of this is stuff that I just don't see my mom self wanting to wear. Got shorts that are a bit too short tops that were probably tight pre-pregnancy so i'm just not sure if they're ever going to fit again post-pregnancy and just things along those lines i don't foresee my style changing completely as a mom but there are a handful of more juvenile items in my wardrobe currently that i'd like to transition out as i kind of enter into motherhood so that's really this pile okay then that just leaves us with our winter clothing to go through i don't foresee much getting decluttered here but i do want to go through it make sure that it's all prepped and ready 
to store away for the fall and winter. And then also I've got a few dresses that I want to try on too. So let's go through this and then we can wrap up by doing just a quick once over of my postpartum wardrobe. All right, so in these two piles here, I've got my off-season clothing that I want to put away for this fall. And then right here, I've got some clothing that I want to declutter. And then also a bridesmaid's dress from a wedding I was recently in. Obviously, I have no need for the dress anymore. So this right here and this will be letting go of. So now let's add all of those in-season items that I fit back into my wardrobe. And we'll just do a quick once over to make sure there aren't any last minute items that I decide that I want to let go of. So just found two things that I want to remove from my summer wardrobe. I've got a t-shirt that I'm going to declutter and then one that is winter themed. So I'm just going to put it in my cold weather clothing capsule. So this is what we've ended up with, a far more reasonable amount of things. Over here, I've just got some casual t-shirts and long sleeve shirts, keeping out a couple of sweaters and sweatshirts, some matching sets. I've got all of my shorts and pants in that pile there these three piles are athletic clothing undergarments are in those two baskets and then over there you have all of my hanging clothing so dresses nicer shirts and all of that and now let's spend some time organizing everything putting it back away in the closet We got everything sorted and put away. Let me show you where it all ended up. So here in the closet, I've got all of my seasonal clothing out that currently fits. Right here, I've got everything hung up and organized by color. Typically, I do it by sleeve length and color, but I just decided to put in all the dresses and sweaters and tops kind of all mixed together. Going to test this out, see how I like it. Then, of course, we've got our undergarments here. And then in the dresser, I've got shorts and just general denim here. So I've got jeans and jean shorts, all of my more casual t-shirts on this side. Then in this drawer, I have some matching sets. I've got a cream, green, and black matching set. I've got a couple cozy long sleeves that I still reach for during the summer. A couple pairs of leggings. And then down here, there really isn't much. There's a lot of space here for as things begin fitting me more for me to just fill in this space. But I've got all of the kind of athletic, very casual tops that I use right here. And then a couple pairs of shorts. And then also in here, just in this bin, I have all of my cold weather clothing, or at least most of it. There are a few extra items that I store in a suitcase just because all the sweaters take up a lot more room than my warmer weather clothing does, even though the number of pieces that I store away each season is pretty similar. Obviously, just sweaters are far more bulky. 
And then in the bedroom, the rest of the clothing ended up in these two drawers here. So this one is quite filled with all of the clothing that doesn't fit me yet. So in the next month or so, hopefully we'll be able to bring some more of that out. And then this one has the pregnancy clothing items that I want to save. And then we've got some big piles over here of everything I plan to let go of. Now over the next few days, I am planning to sell a few of the items that are in really good condition still, some of the brand name stuff, but I am really happy with how this honestly massive declutter and organization session of my closet went. So whether you are postpartum or just your lifestyle, your body, whatever has changed over time, and maybe it's time for you to go through to declutter, to organize your closet, and just to make it so that the things that you have available to you, the things that you're reaching for every day, aren't just congested and clogged up by so many items that don't fit your body or your life or just what your interests, your style is now. So I really hope that you found this motivating and encouraging, all of that, but now I've got a little guy to get back to. So until next time, friends, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all very soon. Bye friends.